I want to be there. Kind of. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 In the birth of things. Good boy. I like to be in at the beginning. Okay. So, um, as, as some people that know me know, I, I do everything in the most traditional and cantankerous way possible, um, so that the the energy of what it is I'm trying to bring forth is honoured in every possible way. Um, when I first discovered Maxine and actually actually met Maxine, popped down, had a cup of tea, and she was enormously patient with me. Um, weren't you? <laughs> you can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, not yet. But after, after, <laughs> after assessing me and, and, and you know ensuring that I was proper, um, she gave me the opportunity to produce um, both a facsimile and a transcription of, of a very private notebook, um, a very sort of buzzy, active, magical thing. Um, when Alex produced it, obviously it was it was something private to him. He then destroyed it. Um, the parts of the sketchbook, or notebook, sorry, were pieced back together by a gentleman called Jim Baker, and it's all sellotaped together, and then it was kept in a drawer for very long periods of time, consulted occasionally, but very, very, very private. Um, Maxine handed this thing to me, and I'm like, oh my god, um, what am I going to do with this? And I, I then, you know, I, I get a picture in my head, and then I have to do that, like that, um, no matter how long it takes and, and, and how daft it is in the doing of it. Um, so I did that, and, and it's here, and you've got it. And if you haven't got it yet, it's on its way. The wonderful thing is, is that um, I began to sense in the doing of it that there were some energies that wanted it to come out and some others that wanted it to slow down a little bit. And it wasn't just to do with the physical manifestation of it. Um, so it, on just a personal note, I, I do feel that there's some significance in it manifesting between the anniversary of his birth and the anniversary of his passing. So we're, we're, we're witnessing something which I think is very significant. Um, I mean, all the equipment that I use and all the processes that I use, they're, they're very old. I mean, I've got some print presses and some equipment that has seen the Industrial Revolution, the rise of trade unions, the, the defeat of Adolf Hitler and all the rest of it. And there, there's something really incredibly socially true about that as there is about the Alexandrian tradition. There's something very, very, very grassroots about it, which is true to everybody, no matter who and what you are. 
Um, so for me, being connected to somebody who comes from the same kind of poor roots that I came from and did things in a way that was very real for him and, and wouldn't have veered away from it, no matter what it took, no matter what sacrifices he had to make, and also doing it in a, in a way that was profoundly generous and giving. Um, that's been awesome. That has been awesome. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Well done. student occultists. So the fact that Wednesday and Eamon came, he told the different story a little bit differently. He was telling me about these things that he was publishing and how beautiful they were and he showed me a few of them and they really were beautiful. And then the conversation got on to something else and I said, oh, you know, you might like to take a look at this. It's something that's been treasured, protected, magically and physically. And he said, and the look on his face was like a little boy at Christmas. And he asked if he could do it. I thought about it, not for very long, and thought, Alex would love this. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Alex would love to have been here this evening. I don't know that I can say anything else. I really don't know that I can say anything else. Just enjoy it. Enjoy it because I'm sure Alex enjoyed every moment of his learning. He enjoyed all the moments of his wickedness. <laughs> Bastardliness. <laughs> in fact, in my estimation, he's gone up from this. He's now Lord Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, enjoy it, really enjoy it, and it's a pleasure to see so many beautiful people. 
Characteristics that a leader needs. He was completely disreputable. You couldn't believe a word he said. He was hopeless with money. He was generous to a fault. He'd do you down, he'd big you up, and he was exactly what witchcraft needed at that point. Thank you. 